friends at the table doing shops, kicking past and we talk slow. Good morning guys, good morning, how you doing? You join me today in sunny Brighton. Today I'm off to a photo shoot. It starts at 10 and ends at five. Today I've got a seven hour photo shoot. I've got all my shoes in here. I've got my clothes over there. I've got a stylist today, I've got hair and makeup. Sick on this photo shoot, guys. All right, I want to show you guys some of the images. Bam, 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 bam. Right, that was such a that was such. A sick photo shoot. That was my favourite photo shoot I've ever, ever had. Come on, come on, come on. Why is she ignoring me? Damn. Oh, okay, okay. She's calling me back. Hello. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. My vlog's about to go live. Yeah. So I just thought I'd turn the camera around and show you something. I'm not in our bedroom. I'm in our cozy room. Oh, wow. I've got one step battery. You might have to ring my. Just want to show you Nala. Hello, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Look where I slept last night. Are you kidding me? Why have you done that? <laughs> Didi, 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 Didi. <laughs> It's over there, it's fine, don't worry. There's our coffee table. This is staying here now. Me and Sean had a trampoline competition last night. Is it your dinner time? Come on, Em. So, I don't know if I've told you, I don't know if I've shown you guys this before, but what Zoe and I do is fill these sandwich bags with the amount of weight that Nala has for her breakfast and her dinner. So that instead of weighing it out every single day, we weigh tons out once, and then every time it's her breakfast or dinner, we can just pour one into her bowl and it's so much easier. Go on then, good girl. Let's have a catch up with how that photo shoot went. Photo shoot, photo shoot, why did I say that weirdly? Photo shoot, I sometimes say words really weirdly. Let's have a catch up. Also, I am well aware that my t-shirt looks like it's got random bits of pizza on it. It's not pizza. I think it's meant to be like explosions, but I just FaceTimed Zoe and she was like, why has your t-shirt got pizza on it? If I didn't explain well enough earlier, which I don't think I did, that photo shoot was for my book, the Pointless Book 3, my new book coming out. The press for my new book. Just things, things to do with the book. So, pictures inside the book. Someone's ringing me. They can wait. For magazines and stuff, when the book comes out, for interviews, just to have, to have for the book. And for my Instagram and stuff like that. And there were some sick pictures. So basically today, the shoot was from 10 until five o'clock. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really wanna have a photo shoot that lasted that long, like seven hour photo shoot. I'm not really too keen on having my picture taken. I don't really think I'm very photogenic, but I ended up loving it. And I don't mean like the picture being taken part, thinking I'm like some model, cause I'm definitely not. But I just loved it as a whole. I had a hair and makeup artist, who was awesome. I had a stylist, who I'd never met before, and was so, so sick. Like she, she managed to pick clothes from like looking at pictures of me and, and a few emails beforehand. She managed to pick outfits that I would actually wear myself. And even better, like I didn't even know this was a thing. I've never ever had this happen before. So the brands of clothes that I was wearing today in the photos, instead of just buying them and then giving them back afterwards to the shop, which a lot of stylists do, she contacted the PR companies and said that I would be wearing them in the photos and managed to get it so that I get to keep all the clothes afterwards. Like, what? I didn't even know that was a blooming thing. I've got literally 
four new pairs of shoes, about four, five, six jackets, a coat, pairs of jeans, trousers, five, six t-shirts, all in a bag in the other room. Just brand new for me. So thank you very much if you're one of the companies like Vans, River Island, Top Man. There's some like smaller brands as well. Thank you so much. You know who you are if you're watching. Thank you. Just everything. The photographer, Dan was sick, it was like the first time I'd ever worked with him, Zoe's worked with him before. My book publishers were there, lunch was amazing, I had pizza for lunch. But now, it's pancake day. And I'm home alone with my doggy, and I haven't had any pancakes. They did have pancakes on set, but I wasn't hungry this morning for breakfast, so I didn't actually have any, but they did have pancakes on set for me, just in case I wanted them. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Missy? Do you wanna come on the trampoline? To come and have a bounce? I should just say, don't you worry, Nala has not been by herself all day. You guys know that we don't ever leave the house empty. Like, there is never ever a point that we leave this house empty. I'm just too scared. I've told you before, I'm too scared of being burgled. And there's so many people know that we live here. So at all times we have somebody in the house. So all day we've had somebody like playing with Nala and watching the house and stuff like that and taking you out for a walk, didn't they? Did you go out for a walk? She's so silly. Has anyone else watching this video got a pug? Pugs are like... They're just so funny. Also, I completely forgot to say, you know my book, the new one coming out, The Pointless Book 3. I'm currently working on it. I'm working on tons of different page ideas. So far, I think I've got, I've got a deadline tomorrow, so the day that you're watching this, for tons of new page ideas. So far, I think I've come up with, what was it, like 102 or 104? But I've still got a ton to be working on. So if there's any pages that you loved from The Pointless Book 1, or the pointless book two, or anything that you can think of that you think needs to be in this book, because I want this book to be like a proper collaboration. I want it to be me and you guys working on it as well. I want you to be involved, I want you to let me know what you want in the book, what you want out the book, what was your favorite from the previous books. I want to make this one the best, no, I'm not. I don't want to. This is going to be the best one yet, because I know it is. Let me know in the comments, tweet me, tag me on Instagram, However you want to contact me, Twitter's probably the easiest, so I check that one like a million times a day. Tweet me any ideas that you want to see going in the Pointless Book 3. And I'm going to have a look through them. In fact, use a hashtag like... Hashtag Pointless Book 3 Ideas. With a number 3. There we go! We've even got a blooming hashtag. This is now like official. I mean, I say it's official as I'm sitting on a trampoline in my living room. Why am I so weird? So I just sent Poppy a message. What's your plan for Pancake Day then? Asking her what's her plan for Pancake Day, this is her reply. What's Pancake Day? I'm going to the gym. Oh, shut up, you ain't going to the gym. You are not going to any gym. Don't lie to yourself, don't lie to me, don't lie to anyone. You are eating pancakes. You're not going to eat any pancakes today. I want to, but I honestly don't know where. Pop, your new blog post was on blooming pancakes. I've eaten them for the last four days. Oh, yeah, that's true. Are you going to the gym then? Yeah, you're coming. Nah. Yes, you are. Eight o'clock. Nah. Yeah, you are. Have your pancake now. Your dinner. I don't even have pancake mixture. I thought you've got that. It's called eggs, flour, and milk. You can come Eggs, now. flour. I do have eggs, flour, milk. Just for now. We're putting all the bedding onto the trampoline. And we're gonna make like a proper, make a proper nice cozy like film slash TV watching place, you know? You got your little chew? You are nice and comfy up there? It's time to chill, eat some food, and watch some Netflix. Every Wednesday and Saturday there is a new Sims episode. So as you're watching this right now, there's a link down below to watch the new Zalfie Sims episode. I've got a, can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted. Why can't it come out? Why? I've watched. There we go. I've watched. I've watched. I've watched a lot of YouTube tonight. I don't know how it's got so late. I was planning on doing something crazy to this room, something extra, something that you guys have all been asking me to do in the comments. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow because the time is one minute past eleven. <laughs> one minute past eleven in the evening, and I'm knackered. I just fell asleep watching a documentary on YouTube. This trampoline is so cosy. There's only one thing that is going to be more comfortable than laying on this trampoline or being in bed. 
and that is having a bath. The thought of being in a nice, warm bath right now seems like the best thing ever. And I've just remembered that Lush sent me the world's biggest bath bomb yesterday. Like it is literally like, won't even fit in my hand. Like it's so big. It's so blooming hot. Like why do I do this every time? I like burn myself until I get in. I wouldn't ever risk going naked whilst vlogging. Like I know that some people have done it. I probably like, I probably like Snapchatted my face with a filter on whilst in the bath naked. But videoing with things like this and like this little reflective thing, you never know what's gonna reflect. So I just spoke to Zoe on FaceTime about using this bath bomb and she, um, she seemed a little bit sad because I think she wanted to try it with me. It is so, like, look how big it is. This is this is one bath bomb from Lush. I told Zoe to make it up to her. I will buy her one. The only issue with that is that they don't sell them in Brighton. They also don't sell them online. The only place you apparently you can get these bath bombs is in London Oxford Circus or something. They have like a special Lush, massive Lush store. So for me to use this bath bomb in this video, in return I'm gonna have to go all the way to London. I think it'll be worth it. I, th I think it's worth it. Oh my gosh, this is like that is insane. Three, two. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, so far it seems quite normal. Like it is massive. Like my bath has literally already changed colour and it's still this big. I wish I put like a GoPro under the water so you could have seen it from underneath. This smells so good. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that, oh. Broke it. That looks like a clown now. I'm gonna properly lay down and enjoy this bath now. I'll see you in a minute. I've just come into the bedroom to find Nala like this. Hey, Missy. You're on my pillow. Hey, you're sleeping on my pillow. So thank you so much for watching the vlog. If you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. Today's notification shout out goes to this person. Thank you so much for having my notifications on and watching the video. I'll catch you in the morning.